Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to download and use the grid app to prepare your image for the grid drawing project. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have your picture ready to go. If I open up my camera roll, I have my picture of Frida Kahlo. This is my reference image. If I click on it, you can see that it's in black and white and it has the appropriate proportions. It is um, 3x4 or 4x3, which is going to be perfect for our 9x12 drawing paper. If I come out of here, first thing I need to do though is to go download the app called The Grid. Now I'm going to do this through self-service. If I go over, I have my self-service app over here in this folder. It looks like um, these, this little box with green, blue, red, and yellow. Go ahead and click on self-service. This is where you're going to download all your apps for White Plains. I'm going to go down the, to the bottom and click on search. And then if I go up to the search bar and I type in grid, it's going to pull up everything that has that word in it. And I want you to look, we're going to use this one here. Do you see it? It says grid hashtag add grid on image. The grid itself is on there and a big G. I'm going to hold this up closer to the camera. Do you see the grid? And mine, I've already installed this and uninstalled it a couple times. So I'm going to reinstall. It's going to ask, right? And then it's going to download itself. I'm going to let that happen for a second. Um, while it does that, I'm going to click out of here, and then you should see it pop up. If it doesn't pop up on the first page, if I slide over, there it is. So I'm going to hold this down, and I'm going to edit my home screen because I want to bring this. Oops. I'm going to bring this over here, put it right there. All right, so again, there's the grid app. You're going to find that in self service. Now I'm going to open up that app and it's gonna ask for access to your photos, click OK. And then the first time I opened this up, I thought, okay, <laughs> what's gonna happen? Nothing will happen, this is what it looks like. It's really quite simple, it's a big blank space, and the only settings you have control over are up at the top. So if you look at them, if I bring it up closer, we have a camera all the way on the right, that's how you upload your photo. We have a button that says upgrade, you have to pay for that, so don't click there. We have mode, and we have the settings. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to the camera all the way on the upper right hand corner, click on that. I want you to upload your image. So I'm gonna go to Recents because I see her right there. And I'm gonna click on the right one, which is way down here, right? And it's immediately gonna throw her in here. And you can see that it put a grid over the top, right? But this is not the right grid for us. As you can see, we have, um, like these rectangular boxes, right? I want my boxes to be square and I want them to be the same proportions that are on my drawing paper. Now I know we haven't gridded up our drawing paper yet, but we're going to do it in a very specific way, one inch by one inch. So here we have to make it match the same thing. To do that, I want you to go over to your settings in the upper left-hand corner. Again, let me pull that up. Do you see the settings right here? Click on settings and it's gonna open up all these settings here. And at first when I saw this, I was like, what? is happening. Um, I made a little cheat sheet for ourselves. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our rows and columns. This is rectangular rows and columns. You can click on that, but leave it at that setting. Instead, we're going to change where it says rows three, columns three. That's creating three boxes this way and three boxes that way. We want them to match our drawing paper, which can be one inch by one inch. So we need them to be nine and 12. Now, if I, I'm going to hit save. My picture is vertical, right? It is a portrait. Um, if your picture goes side to side, if it's horizontal, you're going to use these settings here. But if it's vertical like mine, you're going to create ro 12 rows and nine columns. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to settings. I'm going to take this slider here for rows and I'm going to bring that up to 12. It goes really fast. And then let's see what the max is. 50. <laughs> I don't need 50. I'm going to go to 12. Make sure it's 12. And then I'm going to set my columns to 9. Okay. Now I'm going to hit save there. I want you to see that we have all these extra boxes now. Perfect. Um, if I switch those, I want to show you what that looks like. If I made this 9 by 12 instead, do you see how they're like rectangles? I don't want that. So if your grid looks like this in either direction, please go back to settings and flip-flop those. Again, the rows for vertical should be 12 and the columns should be nine. Again, I'm gonna hit save. All right, so here's my grid. 
it's automatically white, which I like. I like that white line there. I'm going to show you how to change that though. So if I go up to settings again, we've done our rows and columns, right? 9 by 12, 12 by 9. And now I'm going to actually skip the color for a second. I'm going to come down to line width. If I bring that all the way up, it goes up to 20. Let's save them. Oh my goodness, these chunky. Now, I don't want to use that because I can, can't really see my lines, right? Like what is happening in her eye. Instead, I want to bring my line width. I like it all the way down to one. I want it to be as thin as possible. So if I hit save, do you see how thin that is? And that allows me to see all those little details. Okay, if you like it to be a little bit thicker, you can. I like two is nice there too. Um, whatever is, makes you happy. I'm going to go back over here to settings. I like my grid white, but I, if you wanted it to be black instead, like it's a pen, all I got to do is bring down um, the top three of these sliders. They're blue, green, and red. If I bring them all the way down, do you see how this A is for black here, right? And if I hit save, it'll make my grid black. I don't know if I like that or not. It's a little distracting for me, but um, I would choose white or black. If you wanted to, I could bring the blue up and make it blue. <laughs> I could make the blue down and make it a red grid or yeah, red grid, right? It's up to you. I prefer it to be white, so I'm going to turn everything off. All right. Okay, so if I go back up, two settings one more time i have my grid set nine by or i'm sorry 12 by nine for vertical i have all my sliders up for white i'm going to bring this deck well i'll leave it at two so you can see it on the screen and then i want you to go to more settings for a second and then where it says tap on image to pick color we don't need that right now we're going to use that later click that off Okay, because if that's on, when you tap on the picture, it's going to do something a little weird that we don't need. Click that off, and then you're done with your settings. Hit save. Okay, so essentially you're ready to draw, but I have one more thing I want to share with you. If you go up to mode, right, we have settings and then mode up at the top. Go to mode, and then do you see how it says fixed grid? Leave that checked off. Um, the movable grid is actually a pro feature. We don't have pro. We could upgrade, but we have to pay for it. If we go to don't show label, click on that. It's going to open this up down at the bottom. The options are don't show label, show line label, which you see how it's on the line itself. Go back to mode. And then show, oh, sorry, I want you to go to show cell label all the way at the bottom. When you click on that, it's going to create these labels for you, which is really nice. It has numbers going down the side and it has letters going across the top and they should be centered within each box. So you know this box up here is A1 or 1A. And then the next one down is A2, A3, A4. If I go this way, this would be A1, B1, C1, all the way across. And that's gonna help us identify each box. Now I think, yeah, so we can zoom in by pinching. We can zoom out by pinching it closed, right? So we can work right here on the grid and on our drawing paper. I'm going to show you that later. But you're really just looking box by box by box and just drawing exactly what you see in terms of the lines um, in your drawing. Okay, so that's how to prep your picture for use with the grid. Um, the last thing I want you to do I want you to take a screenshot. You can do that by pressing the top button and the home button at the same time, right? And take a screenshot. It's going to throw it down here at the bottom. Um, and then I want you to go, it's going to save itself. I want you to go to Schoology and submit that picture in our Schoology assignment page. All right, I'm going to post this whole um, list of things to do, including the settings here um, in the video below and or in Schoology for you. But again, that is how you set up your picture for use with the grid. I'll see you next time.